Well, incidents with violent and unruly airline passengers on commercial flights have soared nearly 50% worldwide. Experts say flyers are choosing not to listen to flight attendants anymore. And News Nation's Evan Lambert has been looking into the numbers and what authorities plan to do about it. So, Evan, what did you learn? Well, Kelly, where we are seeing this increase is worldwide in these kinds of unruly and violent incidents. That's according to the International Air Transit Association. Here in the U.S., these kinds of incidents have actually dropped by about 80 percent since 2021. That does not mean that they have stopped entirely. In fact, just last week, an American Airlines pilot on a flight out of New York City had to essentially give a lecture to the passengers on board like they were in third grade, asking them to be kind and respectful to one another. Of course, that is in stark contrast to the viral moments that we have all seen. Look. That motherfucker back there is not real. And then I will kill every man on this plane. Oh, oh my God. God. Flight attendants punched, fellow passengers threatened, and a woman demanding to get off a plane because of a man in the back who wasn't really there. Just last week, deputies near New Orleans arrested a 39-year-old man who cut himself and a flight attendant on a Delta flight as it was landing there. He was charged with battery, and the female flight attendant was treated on the scene. The International Air Transit Association is calling for tougher consequences for people who are unruly or violent in the air. For the most uh, serious incidents, we want to see criminal prosecutions to, to hold people to account. But there are some incidents and offences that don't quite meet that, uh, that threshold, um, and they could be dealt with uh, quickly by what we call civil and administrative penalties. The industry itself needs to play its part by making sure that we prevent and manage incidents, that crews are trained effectively and efficiently to manage different situations. According to the FAA, in the skies above the U.S., unruly incidents have increased each of the last three months, with nearly 200 reported in July. And there are consequences for this. The FAA has sent 250 cases to the FBI for prosecution since 2021. So far this year, they've sent six people for prosecution. There are also hefty fines involved here. The FAA can charge passengers up to $37,000 per violation, and you can have multiple violations in one unruly incident. Kelly? Wow, and those videos are tough to watch. All right, Evan Lambert, thank you so much for that update. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.